All right. Uh, welcome, everyone. Uh, thanks a lot uh, for coming to my talk. So um, this is my talk where I'm going to be spelling front-end development inconsistently throughout. Um, it's uh, based on many conversations that I've had, uh, as well as um, a Quora answer that I gave uh, a long time ago, um, where someone was asking, "Why, uh, why are, uh, why do backend developers always seem so much more confident in their profession than frontend developers?" Um, so I, I do want to say, uh, obviously, this. Name of this talk is a bit uh, is a bit high of hyperbole. Of course, there's a front end, uh, but I do think it's more nuanced than what people uh, tend to think. So, software is an exciting in an exciting place right now. Um, I uh, tend to think of it as being a little bit like a European ma mathematician during the scientific revolution. So you have like Newton, Leibniz, uh, Descartes, Pascal, Smith another one that I forgot. Um, and, and the thing that's so exciting about it is that we just kind of invented this brand new thing and you can invent all sorts of things, any one of us, right? There's just so much stuff to do within this, uh, within this, um, this field. And just like back then, there are uh, many paradigms and many ideas and many terms floating around and just like that and not all of them are useful so like here are some of the pre some of the um some of the uh the notations for calculus that have been proposed and then discarded and no one ever really used and um just like these are notations of bygone eras you know again i think there's lots of terms like that floating around and now that seem useful now, but ultimately will not be. Um, in terms like software architect and ES6 and agile, and especially front end and uh, back end development. Um, so let's start by kind of talking about this. Who exactly is a front end developer? Um, so at the time of whenever I wrote, I looked this up, um, let's say yesterday, it was, you know, years ago. Um, uh, there were like 38 and a half thousand listings for on dice.com for front end developers, um, maybe 24, 4,000 for back end. And the question is like, who are they asking for when they say that? Right. Um, you know, and, and I think it's good to think about this as uh, be an example, like what qualifies as a front end. Um, there is this David, uh, Humean exercise, if you will, where you kind of use a gut feel for the characteristics of a thing to iteratively come up with a definition. So you start by kind of considering some examples, um, which clearly match, and then you invent a definition for these. And then you consider, well, okay, there's certain things that probably should be in that category, but don't match the definition. So let's expand the definition, shift the goalposts out, and then lo and look for things that seem to fall within the definition, but don't feel quite right and see if you can uh, adjust the goalposts further. And you kind of keep doing this sort of testing boundaries uh, exercise and you keep adjusting definition. And if you can't come up with a terse definition that makes sense, then maybe we can start suspect uh, uh, suspecting that you know, the, that what we're trying to define isn't really a thing after all so much as kind of an artifact of how we tend to think about things in the moment. It's a fabulous game. I'm a big hit at parties. Um, so like, let's run through that with front-end development, right? Um, what are some things that clearly fit in there? Like surely if you're building a web application, you're using React uh, or Angular or jQuery, um, those are all things that we would typically think of as front end. So great, that fits. But then like, it, you know, if you're doing React, then React Native should also probably fit. I mean, you're not really, you know, I just did a React Native project, you know, where it's pretty much the same things that you're doing. Heck, there's even React Native Web, which is like they, it's the exact same thing. It's the exact same thing uh, that will run in web browser versus a device. Like you're still doing the same type of stuff. So it seems like that would match, right? 
Um, and React Native, uh, React Native could match. Maybe so could Ionic, because again, Angular, Angular, it's kind of the same thing. Um, and if that counts, then why why wouldn't Native Android development count if you if React Native counts? Because it's really just a difference of UI framework at that point, right? And it, it'd be silly for to have like this entirely different category of development just because there's a different UI framework. Like we don't say someone who is doing, you know, React is doing front end development, but someone's doing Angular isn't. So it's just different UI framework. Okay. And and if that counts, then how about um, like someone working with WPF or QT or building those horrible uh, user interfaces with uh, with Swing, right? Those seem like they should still count as front end development because again, you're still doing the same type of thing. It's just a difference of framework. So then, what is so now we've kind of got a base of a definition, a kind of maybe a feel. Let's see if we can figure out what it could be about. And if we take the things that we just talked about, then seems like front end development just intuitively has something close with being something to do with being close to the end that the user interacts with. And that's great. That's a definition that, fit, that should fit all the previous scenarios. Um, now, what about someone who's creating a command line program? That's, after all, someone who is actually writing the command line interface is still at that end that the user interacts with, right? They're close to the user. They are, they are considering how users interact with the application. They will spend time picking proper terms and uh, defining parameters and thinking about things being intuitive. And like, unless they're Linus Torvalds who just throws stuff at the wall, they'll even try to maybe ask someone to use it and see uh, how good, how easy it is for them to pick it up. So that's not really substantially different from what other front-end developers in the web would do. But, you know, it, it's fair that, that that sounds kind of out there to say, well, uh, building a command line application can be front-end. You know, you might want to say, no, look, l l l this has gone too far. Let's, let's limit the definition and say front-end development, it, it, you know, it's got to be visual. It's all about being visual, right? So can we add visual to the definition? Um, and so you have to like be visually laying out things that a user interacts with, and that's great. But then, what the heck is someone who's an accessibility expert working on that same web application, but making sure it works well with a screen reader doing? They're not doing anything visual, and yet it seems pretty clearly that they're working on the front end. They're doing front end things. You know, they're making an ADA compliance site. Um, so if they're doing a front end, and then that means we can't really add visualization, something visual to the definition, right? And if and if, so maybe CLI design is front end because, okay, well, we're designing the interface. It's close to the user. Um, and, and of course, if CLI design is that, then surely someone's building the commands an Alexa app interacts with. That would work too, right? Nothing, after all, we've already given up uh, about constraining our definition to say it just has to be a visual UI. Um, but hold on, how exactly is designing a command line interface different from designing a library API? Um, after all, you know, you're doing the same type of stuff. You're picking an entry point. You're identifying commands. You're identifying parameters. You're testing for intuitive use. In fact, we use command line interfaces as APIs all the time, right? That's like what Unix and what Linux is based on that idea. Um, so it, it does it does seem like the only difference is that if you're building a command line interface, the user is interacting via shell scripting language. And if you're building an API, the user is interacting with a programming language. That's not a huge difference. I want to hang like such a major distinction on. Um, so, you know, given that the person who's 
interact, who is building command line interfaces, engages in the same type of activity and thought patterns as someone's web UI, does it make sense to advertise one position as front end and the other as not? Right? It, you know, there's two approaches to this. Let's say you're you're as a company and say, look, we're tech agnostic. We just want good people we, who know what they're doing. And it's, we don't care. We, they'll figure out the tools because we trust them to figure out the tools. And if that's the case, if you're really being tech agnostic, then it makes no sense to say one, one is to put out an advertisement for a front end developer when that's going to exclude people that are awesome API designers or awesome CLI designers or awesome reactive native developers, right? You, we, you, in, and if we're at the same time aren't being tech agnostic, which is perfectly legitimate. If you want, if you want to say, look, I, we need someone that needs, knows JavaScript. We need someone that knows, that has real experience working with web browsers. Then just say that. Right it, there, you know, there's. It just seems like we're contributing to everyone's confusion by saying front end when what we really mean is something completely different. So there are people who, you know, build themselves as front end developers who can't design at all, right? And they say, "Yo, I'm a front end developer, but hold on, I'm not a designer." And I've talked to lots of front end developers. <clears throat> who are all about design, but dis but just regard JavaScript as advanced. And they say, like, look, I'm a developer. I'm not a hardcore developer. And um, there are even tons of front end developers who don't do CSS at all. That those are all things that exist. And that's not to make anyone feel bad. It's just that, you know, words mean things. And uh, when we say words, we're trying to convey something. So let's take a step back. Like back end work. Like maybe we can just come up with a definition for the back end and just define front end as being not that, right? Um, well, back end work is typically associated with types and tooling, but we've got TypeScript and Flow and you know, dear God, have you ever tried to configure Webpack? There's like maybe one person at your company that knows how to do it uh, and like maybe understands it. And like, you know, so tell me like a backend build pipeline that's as convoluted as Webpack can be. That MS build is pretty bad, but you get my point. Um, so what about setting up a database? Surely setting up a database counts as a, as a backend working and involving schemas over time and migrations, that should count as backend. Um, yet there's storage in the web browser as well, right? There's local storage in there. Um, and you might, you might have to migrate it. In fact, I've had to write a migration system for local storage in a, in a web browser because we're, we're storing stuff and we need to store it in a different format. So I'll stop with the game, but you get the point. These are hard things to define even approximately. And, you know, so I have to ask when we describe a position as front of our back end, aren't we just demonstrating that we don't actually know exactly what we're talking about? Like the point of language is to communicate, but I have no clue what we're communicating when we say these things. And there seem to be better ways of saying anything that we're trying to say. So maybe we should take a step back and consider the point of all of this. Roughly speaking, I think all coding falls into one of these four categories. So you can design how data is structured within the application. You design how data flows through an application. You connect and integrate different systems and tools to your application, or you design, uh, it, it, or you design interfaces for different systems and tools and users to interact with you. Um, and uh, you'll notice how two of these feel very much back end, and two of these feel very much front end. And I came up with these categories completely independently of this particular discussion, so that's very fortunate. Um, and I think there might lie a useful a, a useful angle here. Um, Note these are not positions. It would be weird if a job description said uh, was to do one of these things. They're certainly not technical skills. Um, I think what be what these are really capturing is the frame of mind you have when uh, completing a sort of task, right? So, and the, the frame of mind when you're working about on on the front end is all about how your application interacts with other systems at the boundaries. 
And those systems might be users, right? They and, and of course, there are skills associated with like user interface and design is absolutely a system at the boundary skill, just particularly aimed at people. There's UX, which is different from UI, um, but the, that's also a skill. Understanding uh, how performance of GUIs work it works is very different from understanding performance of databases. That's a skill. Understanding overlying security inject, and stuff like in command injection and XXS. Um, being able to think about API design and uh, understanding the importance of comp componentization so you can build and reuse the same UI components, build your own UI libraries. I think those are all very important skills that all are used by someone working in a front end development frame of mind. Um, and then what about back end? That's Keanu Reeves, by the way. He's, he's doing this for real. Um, so when you're in the back end frame of mind, um, that's when uh, you're focusing on your application internals. And those skills might include thinking about data modeling, about database optimization, considering how different, uh, uh, considering how the parts of your system might affect each other, um, understanding issues with deployment, thinking about high level design patterns and architectures, keeping in mind system security, like these are all things that are about like the internals of your program. It's the focus of the house being stable and its foundation. It's not so much what is needed when the wind blows. And what the, and, but these are all things that you might end up doing in the web browser, right? You, you can have to write that migration system. You might have to like think about data modeling in the web browser. It's just, you're doing backend tests then in JavaScript. Um, it's, it's about the frame of mind. It's about the skills. And that, what that means is that people who focus on front end developer are no less engineers than anyone else. They do not solve simpler problems and they're certainly not optional. It also means that you cannot be just a back end engineer because at some point the code you write has to interact with something else. You must focus on, you may focus on one set of skills more, more specifically than the other. You might uh, have a certain mentality that you're better at than another one, but you are not very useful if you cannot write anything that interfaces with anything else ever, right? So, uh, you know, I, I, I want to kind of finish up this rant and, and say, like, again, it's all about a better use of this terminology is as the frame of mind as the set of skills you're looking for, and not so much as a job description, because it seems like there is always a better way to describe what you're looking for. And by the way, why are backend developers more confident in their skills than front-end developers? It's because, because calling yourself a front-end developer is a concept that's been around for like maybe 10 years, like maybe 15 since Ajax and jQuery came around. So like, you know, there are, those of us who were still coding before then, what are we? What were we doing? I mean, I'm not going to call. I'm probably going to call myself a full stack developer then. So just someone saying I'm a front end developer is usually saying that they just haven't been coding as long, and that's why they seem not as confident. So that's the end of that's the end of my talk. Um, let me see. Let me peek through uh, and see if there's any questions. Um, I don't see, I don't see if anyone has any questions they could uh, put it in the chat. Um, but the, that's it. No, if nothing else, thank you very much, everyone.